we are talking simple machines. So what is a simple machine? A simple machine is a mechanical device that helps change the direction of an object and also helps us do work. There are six different simple machines. We've been having videos on each one of them. There's the lever, the screw, the wheel and axle, the wedge, the incline plane, and the last one we're going to talk about is the pulley. If you've ever been to the Children's Museum, you know that we have an exhibit completely devoted to the simple machines. There are several pulleys in this exhibit. One set of pulleys is responsible for lifting up an elevator that has a ball in it. The pulleys aid in bringing the ball all the way up to the top of the exhibit and then releasing it. A pulley is a machine consisting of a wheel over which a rope or a chain runs and it helps change the direction of the force. For example, this is a pulley. I have a load here on the end of my rope and the pulley has a wheel over which I have the string and it helps change. So I'm pulling down, but my load is going up. So that's what a pulley does. I have a fun experiment you can try at home. I have it set up over here. So I have a pulley here, and maybe um, your mom or dad has one out in the garage or laying around the house somewhere, but this is a pulley, and I have it kind of taped on a ruler here hanging off of this tabletop. And then I also have a load or a heavy thing that we're going to pick up. In this case, it's this little piece of 2 by 4 And I have a string attached to it, and I have a rubber band in between my two pieces of string. So what you can do to see how a pulley works and how a pulley helps us do work is you do a little experiment where you pick up your um, load or your two by four uh, without using a pulley and you see how far the rubber band stretches. So you measure a rubber band like this and I'm measuring about seven and a half inches. Then what you do is you take your string and you run it through your pulley. So once you have your string through your pulley, you do the experiment again. This time, pulling using the pulley. So you also take a measurement of how far your rubber band stretches. This time, I'm only getting six and a half inches. So the rubber band isn't stretching as far, meaning when you're pulling, you're not getting as much weight. Pretty cool experiment, huh? If you do this experiment at home, send us a picture of it or a video at boxoflight at me.com. Now, you might be wondering what all this other stuff is over here. You may ask yourself what all this is here behind me. Your challenge is to take all that you learned from the simple machines and put them together in a Rube Goldberg machine. So what's a Rube Goldberg machine? This is one right behind me. Rube Goldberg was a famous illustrator, American illustrator, who uh, was known for drawing these crazy contraptions for doing simple things. So here, this guy, all he wants to do is wipe his face with his napkin. And look at all these, these steps he has to go through just to wipe his face. Whereas any normal person would just pick the napkin up and wipe his face. Every year in our area, there's a Rube Goldberg competition. Students from all over the area compete to make these fantastic machines that do really simple things. This is the grand prize winner from last year. I think there's 20 some steps in it. It starts way over here and it comes down there, up around, up through here, down here, over there, up and down again. You know what they were trying to do with this? Thread a zip tie. So, all of that was to do this motion. I don't think you need to have 20 different steps to do that. But, it's a lot of fun. This year, unfortunately, the Rube Goldberg contest got canceled. 
Um, and we were sad about it. We had a, a team that was going in uh, for the competition and their contraption is behind me. It wasn't quite finished when we had to close down because of the virus, but I get to show it to you. So Isaac and Grant, this one's for you. So I had two students that were working on this contraption and what it does is it starts here and the marbles come down here, tip the scale, there's a ball in this tube, the ball rolls down the tube, hits the mouse trap, the domino falls down, and their goal was to raise their flag. And you can see the name of their team was Goldfish Ice Icebergs, because they wanted to get Goldberg into um, their name. And they had goldfish crackers, which I was really curious to see how they were going to use those. But what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, show you what they had um, started. So ready? Here we go. One, two, three. And there you have it. it. Took a while for the ball to get down there, but it worked. And that, all of that to just raise the flag. That's pretty crazy. What we're gonna challenge you to do is to take all of what you've learned about the simple machines. And you can see that there's a bunch of different simple machines in this uh, contraption. You have uh, a pulley. You have an inclined plane. You have a lever. So there's at least three simple machines in this uh, machine, Rube Goldberg's machine. How many can you get into yours? Your challenge is to make a tabletop Rube Goldberg machine that, hmm, let's see, what should the end point be? It is spring. How about planting a seed? Now, if you don't have seeds laying around, maybe you could use dried beans or rice or something, but tip some seeds into a pot. That's going to be your challenge. When you have your Rube Goldberg machine made, you can send us a picture of it or hopefully a video of it in action. Send it to boxoflight at me.com. We cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. This is Dr. Ginny saying bye for now. Children's Museum and we are talking simple machines. So what's a simple machine? A simple machine is a device that can help us 